solve the given Bernoulli differential equation, dy over dx is equal to y plus y cubed. So first we're going to put this equation into this format. So we're going to get dy over dx minus y is equal to y cubed. So we can set our p of x equal, equal to negative 1. Our q of x is just equal to 1. And our n is equal to 3. So we can set our v equal to y to the power of 1 minus our n, which is 3. So this is equal to y to the power of negative 2. So next, we can take the derivative of this equation. Or before we take the derivative, we're actually going to write it in terms of y. So we're going to have y is equal to v to the power of negative 1 half. And now we can take the derivative of this. So we're going to have dy over dx is equal to negative one half v to the power of negative three divided by two dv over dx. So now we're gonna take our dy over dx and we're gonna substitute it into this equation. So that's gonna give us negative one half v to the power of negative three divided by two dv over dx minus v negative to the power of negative one half. So our y we're just substituting into this, which is equal to again we're substituting our y as this. This is what we set it as. So it's gonna be v to the power of negative three divided by two. And now we're gonna simplify this equation and we're gonna get dv over dx plus 2v is equal to negative two. So that simplifies nicely. So if we look at this carefully, this equation is just written in this format. So dv over dx plus p of x times v, which is equal to q of x. So if we set our p of x equal to 2 and our q of x equal to negative 2, we can use our integrating factor since this is a linear first order differential equation. So our integrating factor is going to be e to the power of the integral of our p of x, which is 2 dx. So this is just equal to e to the power of 2x. So that is our integrating factor. So now we're going to be taking our integrating factor and multiplying all the terms of our equation. So we're going to get e to the power of 2x dv over dx plus 2 times v multiplied by e to the power of 2x equal to negative 2 e to the power of 2x. And if we look at this side carefully, this is just writing, multiplying two terms together. For example, setting if we set our u equal to e to the power of 2x, we can multiply it by our dv over dx plus our v multiplied by our du over dx. So we can just write our d, that can be simplified to d over dx multiplied by our u, which is e to the power of 2x, multiplied by our v, which is just v, which is equal to negative 2e to the power of 2x. And now we can take the integral of this side. So we get e to the power of 2x multiplied by v, which is equal to the integral of e sorry, which is the integral of negative 2 
e to the power of 2x dx. And then we are going to simplify this and we're going to get e to the power of 2x multiplied by v, which is equal to negative e to the power of 2x plus c. And now we're going to take our v and we're going to substitute it back to y to the power of negative 2. So we are going to get e to the power of 2x multiplied by y to the power of negative 2, which is equal to negative e to the power of 2x plus c. Now we can rewrite our equation in terms of y, and we get 1 divided by c e to the power of negative 2x minus 1 all to the power of negative, or all to the power of one half. And that's gonna be our final answer. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.